my god. AP have gone the Invicta route and they have come out with a Black Panther watch. So they've made a collaboration with Marvel Comics and they are going to be coming out with a number of Marvel comic themed watches. And these watches are not cheap. Of course, they made this a Torbjorn, so it's a really expensive watch, $150,000. It's got precious metals, of course. But come on, AP, what are you thinking? This doesn't make any sense. Why would you team up with Marvel Comics? It just cheapens the brand. Think about who else is doing this in the watch world. No one, except for brands like Invicta and Citizen. It doesn't make, it just boggles my mind. You could go buy a Citizen Marvel Comics character watch, Black Panther, Iron Man, Spider-Man, characters like that for around $200 or $300. You can buy an Invicta which will retail for $5,000 for around $300. They have a Black Panther watch. It's hideous. And I gotta say, the AP that they just came out with, the concept Black Panther Torbjorn is not that better looking than the Invictas, and it definitely isn't better looking than the Citizen watches that cost next to nothing compared to this watch. And they actually auctioned off one at the launch. It was like a surprise that they did. They auctioned off a white gold version of this Black Panther watch, and it sold for over $5 million. Now that was for a good cause, and I'm really happy that they did that. I don't think this $150,000 Torbjorn that they're making is worth it, and it's not going to be going to charity, so the proceeds for this will not be going to charity. This is sort of a money grab. They're going the route of Invicta, of Romain Jerome. They've done Spider-Man watches and things like that. They went under. They weren't popular. They're not good looking. Grown-ups don't want them. Some grown-ups do, and I get it. I like the nostalgia of the Marvel comics. I watch the Marvel Universe. I enjoy that stuff, but I'm not spending $150,000 on a watch, and that's the only time it actually makes sense. If you're gonna spend $100, $150 on a watch, and it has a Marvel character on the dial, that's fine. It's $150, you're not breaking the bank to do it. It's not a big deal, and it's fun. It could be collectible in the future, but if you're gonna spend $150,000 on a watch, and it has a sculpture of Black Panther, of Spider-Man, of Iron Man on the dial, and that's what their plans are to do. I think it makes absolutely no sense. It's a money grab, and I really don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't think this is a good looking watch. Honestly, I think it's just a money grab, in my opinion. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed in AP. Uh, they've had a couple of years, rough years, of watch releases. The 1159, I actually like. I didn't think it was all that bad. Uh, but this year, they have released something that I think is an absolute turd, and they are charging tons of money for it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel. I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. Anyway, thanks for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.